un cuchillo. Ang jumlah jumlah pakah mentol, kau jumlah kah di tepi samnaka, samnaka jibatol tu ni. Ang jumlah nukul samnaka sedap tak kikam sak say dan mien bahasa niem dalam TC I sam sep bay. Menteri Rat Batalaka anjing sak say hijau makan kalai dal tak kikam di kenong bertuk samnaka. Suat dari luk saksi atau luk semua ini. My name is Steve Heder. It's actually Stephen Heder with a PH. Steve Heder, yang out a PH. Oh, kau luk Steve Heder. Tapi luk mana jumpa mana senam? Sixty, sixty years old this year. Chenam ni kau mian ayu hok sab chenam hai. Ba, okun hai sab pengai ni tai lo pukok mukrobo awai dah. I'm a political scientist, a political historian. Never perwat desah, kujia sah mijo bai. Ba, okun hai. Tak luk still header, tapi tengah ini luk rohna tiga lain na. I have right of residence in the United States and in the United Kingdom, and I live in those places and elsewhere. Và ở quân hãy cho lúc mình là thành chiến ở ngoài đá I'm an American citizen of US passport Chị chuyên chiến ở Mỹ Cán Cần lý khách lòng đàn ở Mỹ Cán Và ở quân hãy lúc tiêu hết đó Ta ở phục bằng cao đã bảo lục ở chung mùa ấy Nâng mà này bằng cao đã bảo lục ở chung mùa ấy My father's name was Robert Hedder, and my mother's maiden name was Patricia Mauer. Cho propun bah lok kot semua ay hai lok min kon perman ne. My wife's name is Marianne Lilleberg, and I have two daughters. Kau nyom min kon serai pi ne. Luk Steve Hader, kenong diem luk cik sak say dari terapi dalam terkait kam dari jepun muk ang jenuh jemreh telah terbung dia peni ang jemreh dalam raya luk sempat tetam jemnu dari kosasana robot luk atau luk jual perom dari ti. Yes. Ban. Kalau si samraka on the chat, som lah ngan ay norm dal lu sa say dalam ay tu semat.
มีริมฟาไมซังตีและดูไทรลานจีสมในนอมสะไทยพุทธมดลูกเฮเดอร์สมลูกทาตามขยมขยมสมสปอตขยมใหญ่แต่กาปิดกาปิดแต่งสรงเมียนไปได้มันเป็นจิกาปิดนู่นเอ I solemnly declare I'll I will tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth speak the truth tell the truth the truth and nothing but the truth thank you ขอบคุณลูกสตีฟเฮเดอร์ขอบคุณลูกสตีฟเฮเดอร์ขอบคุณลูกสตีฟเฮเดอร์ตามระบายการะบายกลางที่สามนาคากาปีบรักไม่นี่ถ้าตามสมัติเพียบได้โลกไอ้ดังบ้านโลกมันเมียนจวบจมน้องเย็ดโลกฮัตหรือก็เย็ดพ้นจีมวยหนึ่งบกุลได้ตรีบานตัวตัวยกเสียดาวมาดังรัฐปะปีนี้น้องเรื่องกระไดส่วนโทนปีนี้ตีหายก็มันจวบเย็ดโลกฮัตหรือก็เย็ดพ้นจีมวยหนึ่งไอ้จุนจับเจ้าทั้งปีรูปได้คือโลกนวลจี๋หนึ่งโลกคือสมพรตาเปิดแมนได้หรือตี Yes, that's that's correct. But Trump, Trump, hello, good evening. At the moment, I'm going to be some rap on pieces. Then, when I get about the look, from the look, just say on pieces. Look, still had dark. From the look, just say the long cut on the car. The TV, the camera, 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 the camera. ทีบายนามวยหรือจะเล่นได้นอมอ้อยดับไปรถเพียบเลือกส่วนไอ้สิทธิ์มันเพื่อสักใครกำไปช่างหนึ่งส่วนไอ้ของปีการในยกเกตนองเนียมลูกจะสะใจเราแต่ประตอสักใครกำในจะพูดมกองจินุยมเรียตลาดบงเดปนี้ลูกไตรชลายตอบแต่หนึ่งรอสำนวนแต่งไล่ได้เพียกี้หรือจะกรอมในองจินุยมเรียส่วนจะพูดลูกเลือกเลยแต่การในได้ลูกประสิทธิ์มันเพื่อสักใครกำประช่างหนึ่งส่วนไอ้ให้ลูกเตยแต่ชลายแต่การนาได้ปิดได้ลูกบานเคยบานดังบานหรือบานจองจ้ำหรือทะเลาะเมียนบอดไปเศร้าจูบปฏิยาหรือเกาะบานเพื่อการสังเกตได้ปตอในประเทศไทยหรือไทยการแต่งร้ายได้เปียกป้อนแต่หนึ่งสมนุ้ยได้เพียกี้หรือจะกรอมในองค์ยมเรียสัวจมพลูกลูกสตีเฮเดอร์แต่ลูกเมียนได้ทะเลาะบานพัดดาวจากการสังเพียจมวยหนึ่งเนื้อเสื้อบังเกตในกาฤยาไลท์ถ้าจะกรมเสือปังเกตในองค์จุ่มเรียบพิสมัยขนมตลากาการบุญเชียได้หรือที่ในขนมไก่จำนาคาในตลากานี้ขนมยาปีลประมาณเช่นนั้นก็ลงหมดนี่ no อัตเตที่มาได้บานประดับไก่สุนเพียรตีบ่เอาคุณให้องค์จุ่มเรียบสมประดับวิธีการจุนตือดำนางสัปเรียะขนมกาตังสมรู้ในดาวจิปูภาษาไซรุมนี่มุ่งเพื่อกีดเตจิตในเรื่องใดไอ้สมนุนเล็กไปเจาะของได้ท่าสัปเรียะรวมเตียงท่ามิตรวีนอมกตำนางเดิมบรรดังกรอบเราวันนี้มีนัยเปรียปิดไงคนละขนมกาสัวสัตย์ไซรุมนี่สมจุย Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, uh, may it please you. Good afternoon to the judges of this court. Good afternoon to my fellow counsel, and in particular, good afternoon to you, Dr. Heather. It's, it's good to see you here. Many people in this court have been waiting for some time for you to come, and you're a witness in these proceedings. I want to give you the comfort before we start that you're not an expert witness. I am not going to be asking you to express expert opinions. I am going to be with. I hope, Mr. President's lead, covering the books that you've authored, covering the interviews you've had with many people over the years, and confining my questions in that way. Now, it has to be selective. Because if I was to undertake a detailed examination of everything you've written, we'd be here for two weeks. I'd like to start, please, 
by asking me some biographical questions or if you can confirm parts that I'm putting to you. Now, is it right that you have a BA in Asian Studies and an MA in Government from Cornell University? Yes, that's, those, both of those points are correct. That certainly at some stage you have been a lecturer in political science at the University of London's School of Oriental and African Studies, which for the purposes of my examination I will be shortening to the words SOAS. Is that correct? Um, almost. Um, many British academic institutions don't believe that there is any such thing as political science, uh, which they consider a kind of American conceit. Um, so, technically speaking, um, I was a lecturer not in political science, but politics. And in uh, more recent times, I've been a research associate, not a lecturer, um, which is what I, my current post so. I'm not a lecturer, but research associate. Is it correct that in the past you have worked as a special correspondent in China, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and Taiwan for Time magazine, Newsweek, and NBC News, and that you covered the Cambodian conflict as a journalist between 1973 and 1973. Yes, um, all, of, all of that's correct, although it, it should be said that um, my sort of extensive journalistic work was only in the 73-75 period. Is it also correct that at some stage, and please give me the years if it helps, that you served as the Deputy Director of the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia, often referred to as UNTAC, in the Information Education Division? Um, yes, that's correct. Um, although there was some concern within the UN system about the, the, the naming of me as a deputy director, which had a specific UN meaning. So I think for part of that time, the um, title wasn't used, and I instead used the title of the head of the analysis and the assessment unit of the information education division. Thank you. Is it also correct that you have undertaken research on the Thai-Cambodian border and Phnom Penh from 1979 to 1983 as a fellow of the Institute of Asian Studies of Chulalongkorn University? Yes, that's uh, it's correct in the sense that in that period I did research as a research fellow of the Asian Institute of Chulalongkorn University on the Khmer Rouge while they were in power, that is to say, with regard to the Khmer Rouge in the period that's the, within the temporal jurisdiction of the court. 
is it also correct that you've undertaken uh, work as a fellow of the research school of Pacific of the Australian National University? Yes, that's. Uh, I was in their department of history. Uh, they didn't believe in political science either. So I was a, there. I was a kind of political historian. And again, in that academic capacity, my research was on the Khmerers uh, in the period that's uh, relevant to the temple jurisdiction of Khmer. Is it also correct that some at uh, some stage you tell me that it's still current, that you've been a consultant to the War Crimes Research Office at the American University? Yes, I am. Uh, I am a consultant to the War Crimes Research ສໍາລັບລືສໍາລວມຂອງຕໍາແໜ່ງສາພະຍາຍາສູ່ຊິສໍານວນນອມມຸກອໍາປີປະຫວັດຕະຮູບຂອງລູກສະຕິເຮດ
zero points for investigator researchers, investigators, researchers, or analysts. So although I was hired by UNAKRT to work for the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, there was an agreement between Judge Lamond and Prosecutor Petit to lend me temporarily to the Office of the Co-Investigator, uh, the Office of the Co-Prosecutors. I was then taken back to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges as a result of a subsequent agreement between Judge Lamond and Robert Petit. So technically speaking, I was always contracted to work for the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, never contracted to work for the Office of the Co-Prosecutors. But I indeed did work in the Office of the Co-Prosecutors from the effectively the first day that the court existed to the end, if I recall correctly, of 2006. I should maybe add here that I had previously worked for UNKRT before the existence of the court in the first several months of 2006 as a consultant to UNAKRT. Thank you. And can I, uh, there was an objection to my last question uh, a few questions ago. Can you confirm that you've been a consultant to the War Crimes Research at the American University? Yes, I think that was in นี่จะออกกล้ามวยได้ให้ខ្ញុំជាអំឡុងពេលរៃដិងមួយដែលខ្ញុំធ្វើការសរសេរពាក្យទាំងពីរូបជាប់ទៅនឹងការចោទប្
the judges to understand, to help Mr. Heather understand, and to help all my learned friends also have a reference document. Can I please ask whether I can have permission to circulate now um, copies of this document? I'm afraid it's only available in English. Um, I haven't had it. Uh, translated into Khmer. Uh, Uh, yes, um, thank you, President. Just a, a supplementary question, uh, uh, please, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, this is a list prepared by the prosecutor's office, of course. Um, have you listed these documents on the day interface? And secondly, are they available in at least two and preferably three languages? The first question, yes, they have been downloaded onto the interface. And the second question, there are versions in two languages, at least, but with some documents, only partial translations were done in French and Khmer. So I obviously can't promise you that every page is available uh, in French and Khmer, but with most of them it is. All, all interviews, for instance, are in uh, all three languages. The, um, most of the statements are in all three languages. The one that isn't available in all three languages is Cambodian communism which is one of the books, but generally speaking, available in two or three languages. Uh, suppose, uh, Uh, thank you, President. And one further question. Um, certainly from our own um, examination of many of the documents attributed uh, to Dr. Hedder, we have noted that documents have not been completely translated into Khmer. Uh, but our concern is if you, Mr. Prosecutor, intend to refer to parts that are not 
dùng Judge Carr, can Chimla I say I haven't Kadrai, made the request? Can I explain why I've obviously been preparing for Dr. Hedda heavily uh, over the last few uh, days? Uh, and uh, the deception uh, on the uh, Cambodian uh, commons uh, is one that was only settled uh, yesterday uh, or even this morning. Uh, can I suggest this, uh, that uh, certainly uh, uh, both David Chandler and Philip Short testified uh, in circumstances where uh, their books were not available in all languages? Uh, and Judge Cartwright, um, as I have done with, for instance, document presentations where this has arisen, I've put in the requests for the translation immediately after the, um, the presentation. Yes, uh, thank you, dry. President. Some well, uh, the chamber uh, uh, will allow you to proceed on the basis that um, it may rule against you on occasion um, uh, and on the basis that you will seek those translations. Uh, but in the meantime, just to make it very clear, I'm not the only one who can read and understand English, so could you perhaps give the entire trial chamber uh, copies of this uh, index? Thank you. I certainly can. And, and uh, providing one to you wasn't said, meant to be an insult to everyone uh, else, but I thought it might help with the management. So I've got, I think, 16 copies here. I wonder if they could be distributed and also to my learning friends, the Lico lawyers for the civil parties. <laughs> Mr. President, can I also ask that Dr. Hedder has a copy, please? Dr. Hedda, I can see that you're familiarising yourself with the document. What I'd like to do is to use this document for verification purposes, first of all. So if we look at the first page, page one of the document, we see at item 1A, books and reports by you. It's not exhaustive, as I said. But can you confirm that you are the author or co-author? Uh, of the books itemised at 1 to 5 on that page. Um, well, for 5, 4, and 3, I know exactly what 
they refer to um, and one as well. One, uh, I mean, so you, do, you haven't given a f you haven't given a full <laughs> academic <laughs> citation. So um, it's sometimes a little bit hard for me to recognize these things for what they probably are. And I think one, three, four, and five are all published works in the academic sense of the term. I think two, if I'm not mistaken, um, is unpublished in the academic sense of the term and was something that was used as the basis or as a kind of draft that led to the item number three, which was published in an academic sense. So I, I, I think that covers the, those five items. I'm just uh, going to read them into the record. Number one, document number E3-3169 is a report by Stephen Hedder entitled Pol Pot and Q Songpon in its shortened form. Document 3 is E3-48. That is a book by Stephen Hedder and Brian Tittermore entitled Seven Candidates for Prosecution, Accountability for the Crimes of the Khmer Rouge. Document 4 has a D number of E190.1.398 and that again was a report by Stephen Hedder entitled, quote, Reassessing the Role of Senior Leaders and Local Officials in Democratic Cambodia Crime Cambodian Accountability in Comparative Perspective, close quote. And document or book Number five on the list is E3-22, which is a book by Stephen Hedder entitled Cambodian Communism and the Vietnamese Model, Imitation and Independence, 1930-1975. Dr. Hedder, can we move to the next category? Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I can see you want to add something. I'm not entirely sure about item four, um, because there was a conference paper, um, and then there was a publication. The conference paper was much longer and more elaborate than the publication. The publication was taken or summarized from the conference paper. And without actually seeing the document itself, I can't be sh absolutely sure which of the two it is. I think this is the, sorry, I think this is the publication version, not the conference paper version. But I would have to see the document in order to be absolutely sure. That's Fair, and I'm about to show you, uh, Mr. President, can I please show Dr. Hedder a copy of the document that is on our case file in order to verify, please, that this is the published work. Can I hand please to Dr. Hedder, document number on our file, E190.1.398. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'm going to make an objection um, to the terminology used by the prosecutor in respect of this witness. Now, on this, 
on its face it might seem a very childish objection that I'm a going way to make. Uh, I think it's a uh, 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 important principle behind it. Mr. Stephen Hedder is here as a witness. គាត់នៅជួយមកក្នុងឋានៈជាសាក្ស័យត្រូវបានកោះអញ្ជើញពីដំបូងជាអ្នកជំនាញទេគាត់មិនចង់ធ្វើជាអ្នកជំនាញព
bệnh chết thay lục bệnh chết ban sum phe nâng cấp tra chấm lại từng ao nâng tế sum phe bắt sum phe từng ao nâng tế well the dates are familiar and on a first glance certainly many of the many of the names are familiar I frankly don't recognize all of the names immediately, but there's a certain rather peculiar way in which the names are transliterated, uh, which suggests to me that I'm the one who did the transliterating and therefore the interviewing. Was there anyone else from SOAS conducting this many interviews in 2005? Um, this may require some explanation of how it is that academic research is um, done, uh, and particularly how it's um, for, um, funded. Uh, this research was all funded which, with money that came from the then Open Society Institute. Uh, I'll add immediately that that's not to be confused with the Open Society Justice Initiative, which is a completely different organization. Um, and the way in which this normally works in academic institutions is that a funding a funding a funding organization um, provides money to your academic employer in order to release you from some of your other academic duties, most notably teaching. Um, and if you are released from teaching, then you are free to go outside of the, school, the, the classroom and do research in the field. Um, the university normally takes a cut off the top of that funding but you remain on your university salary. The money doesn't go directly into your pocket. Um, in this instance, there was additional money which was paid to the university, that is to say, so as, um, and which was then paid by the university to, to other people who worked with me in the conduct of these interviews, who were therefore in effect paid by SOAS. Um, that didn't make them SOAS employees. So I'm not quite sure how to directly answer your question, but that's the way the, the, the system worked. And so can you remember how long you were in Cambodia in 2005 conducting interviews on behalf of SOAS? Um, my recollection is that it was a longer period than is reflected here, but I think, um, well, maybe, maybe not. I think what happened was in the earlier part of 2005, um, there was other research done with the same funding that didn't involve uh, interviewing, but involved looking at documents. So although the overall research grant 
cover most, if not all, of the calendar year of 2005. Uh, the interviewing was done in the latter half of the year, uh, whereas the documentary work was done in the first half of the year. So I think I was in Cambodia for almost the whole of the year, but the interviewing was done in the second half. Now, did you lead this project, or did somebody else lead it? Some new tile, look at the norm from Rome, then record it now. Sing. I think it would be fair to say I led it, yes. I'd like to turn now to page four of the index, and at the top of page four we have DC CAM. The statements here cover quite a broad range because we moved from 1990 with a statement of Uk Bun Chun through to September 2005 with a statement of Rup now, can you briefly explain, firstly, what your contact with DC CAM has been during this period? Um, I find this, a, the, the, this, some of this, I think, is a, is a bit confused or confusing. Um, the arrangement that I had with DC CAM, which I think was mostly in 2004, um, was done in a manner similar to the one I just described. Uh, there was money which originated with DC CAM, and in fact also money which originated with the British Embassy in Phnom Penh, which was, as in the other arrangement, paid to my university to buy out my teaching, um, to free me up to do other, to, to do research work in lieu of doing teaching. Um, and that project consisted primarily of looking at interviews that were done not by me, but by DC CAM, which I then summarized in English um, and compiled into a series of such summaries. There are cup items on here, uh, and some, some, some of that tied it over, I think, into early 2005, which would explain some of the, some of the dates here. And I, I think I may have done s a few more of these summaries while I was also doing the, 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 the 2005 work. Um, there are some things here that don't fit uh, with that um, explanation. There's the, for example, there's item 65, E3 stroke 387, alternative number D2, D210 stroke 5. Um, that's not an interview that I did in, in any association with DC CAM. That's actually an interview I did when I was at the Australian National University, the transcript of which I provided to DC CAM, and it therefore seems to somehow have become, gone into your system, into the case file, uh, as a DC CAM document. Um, I also am a bit perplexed by item 59, dated 1999. Um, the name doesn't immediately ring a bell with me, um, and I wonder whether that's possibly the date of DC Cam's interview, uh, and not the, the date on which I, I did it. And some of these other dates, in fact, 
that Kim Kuanuti. Are the dates I think of the uh, interview, the interview as done by DC uh, Cam, not the date on which I summarized it, which would explain why, for example, in the case of item 64, um, the interview date is given as 2000, but I did the summary in 2005. Uh, one might misunderstand from this document that I did the interview or I did the summary in 2000. In fact, that's not the case. Thank you. When we get to a particular interview, I hope I'll be having Mr. President's leave to show you the interview, and I'm sure we can sort things out there. Moving to the next item, or oh, Mr. President, I see the time is just after four o'clock. Oui, je crois que les interprètes souhaiteraient que lorsque M. Eder s'exprime, il puisse prendre un peu de recul par rapport au micro, parce que lorsqu'il parle trop près du micro, il y a des coupures qui rendent difficile l'interprétation. Donc, s'il peut prendre un peu de distance, ça facilitera le travail des interprètes. Merci. អរគុណលោកស្ទីវហេដ្ឋអរគុណលោកតំណាងថាប្រិញ្ញាគេចំណាយការសម្ណាការសម្រាប់ថ្ងៃនេះដល់ពេលសម្រាក់ហើយអង